Hey guys, it's Jen from Something Turquoise, and today we're going to be taking a deep dive into creating custom designs using Cricut's Design Space and all its awesome tools with this super cute personalized doormat project. Um, let's get started. So here I'm in Design Space on a brand new canvas, and the uh, first thing I'm going to do is um, reduce the sizing here of the canvas so I can see uh, more inches. I know that the um, doormat we're working with is, go is actually uh, 18 inches by 30 inches. So I'm going to, um, one of my favorite things to do uh, when I'm designing off of a certain size is to go ahead and add a shape. Uh, I'm not going to cut the shape, but to add a shape in Design Space to give me um, the basics for, like the basic outline of what I'm going to be creating so that I can uh, refer to it for spacing and everything. So we've got um, 18 by 30 here. Okay, so here's our 18 by 30 mat. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and color this cream to kind of uh, go along with the um, with the natural fibers of the doormat and then I actually reduce the mat again to 50% just to be able to see it better. So I'm gonna be creating the welcome um, the Lopes doormat and so first we're gonna make the word welcome. So I'm just adding a text box and typing welcome. Now I know this is not the font I want but I'm gonna so then I'm gonna go up here and do bombshell, which is not a Cricut font. It's one of the fonts that I personally own. Um, so I'm going to make this really large. And this is one of my absolute favorite tools. So a lot of the fonts that you can uh, purchase or download for free from other websites ha will have spacing issues when you use them in Cricut. So the best, most awesome tool is called Ungroup to Letters. You simply click this and now all the letters are separated and you can easily um, combine them together here in any, you know, if you want the O up here or down here, you can just add them in any um, pattern that you'd like. Okay, and then once you're happy, I'm going to actually just turn this little square off real quick. Once you're happy to make it all one uh, image instead of separate all those separate letters, what we're going to do is we're going to hit the weld button. And now, let me show you, let me change the color so that you can see that it's all one. Now you can see that it's all one um, continuous cut. There's going to be no, no individual letters here. Okay, so I'm going to turn this back to black. All right, um, let's see, turn our mat back on. So now um, with the mat being turned back on, like I said, with that shape there, I can kind of plan out how large I want my welcome sign against the mat. Okay, now I'm gonna add the lobies. And that's not the font I want, but I know that I want Dear John. I think. Oops. That's it. And then I'm going to add a few sp letter spacings here. There we go. I'm going to kind of do this. Now I think this is cute, but I wish there was a little bit more of a swoosh here on the W. So I am going to just to kind of keep myself organized here, I'm going to turn this off again, and I'm going to turn the little piece off. Okay. Now, I personally know that the T in bombshell has like a really, um, like, exaggerated flair to it. So I'm going to add a, a T here. Okay, so this is the part that I want. I just want this little line here to add to the welcome. So 
here is another um, wonderful example of the different crazy things that you can do in Cricut Design Space and how the tools work. So I am going to take, not a text box, sorry. I am going to take, let's see what shape would be best. I think I'll do triangle first. That might not get it off. Let's do, oh, triangle will be fine. Okay, so I'm going to use what's called the slice tool. And what I'm doing is stretching out this triangle here to cover the areas of the T that I don't want. Okay, I'm going to have to do it again, but that's okay. Okay, so now that it's covering a lot of the T, I'm going to select both the T and the triangle and hit slice. Okay, so now it sliced apart this T for me. So now I'm left with this little uh, squiggle line. Now I'm going to use the star. I'm going to slice it again. I'm going to put it right about here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Put it right about there. Slice. Remove that. Now I'm only left with this perfect little squiggle line that I wanted. So I'm not a graphic designer. I don't use, you know, InDesign and all that. But to me, being able to use tools like slice, weld, and attach here in Design Space really give me everything that I need to have fun and play around with fonts like this. Okay, so now we've we've got this individual piece here. So I'm going to select everything and hit weld. Okay, now I'm going to turn all my pieces back on and see if I like my doormat. So I think this is super cute. I am in love with it. Okay. Now, you might be thinking, my Cricut mat is only 12 by 12, or it's only 12 by 24. And if you're going to cut 12 by 12, you can only actually cut, um, you can only physically cut 11 and a half inches by 11 and a half inches. And with the 24 inch mat, you can only cut 23 and a half inches by 11 and a half inches. So when we click on this whole design, it's telling us that it's 24.311. So that's going to be too large um, to cut on a 24-inch um, mat. This one will be fine to cut, but this won't. So what I'm going to actually do is use that slice tool again to cut the design in half and create two mats well, it'll actually be uh, one half of the word, a second half of the word, and then this word. So it'll be three mats that we're going to cut. Um, and then we're going to cut and reassemble the stencil afterwards. So I'm going to turn this off. And then I'm going to actually turn the text off again, the, the last name. And then I'm going to do a square. And I'm going to make it 11 and a half by 11 and a half. Okay, that's about good right there. Okay. So if you want, you can even uh, duplicate this. So now we have two, so you can kind of see. So we have to get this whole word within two of these mats. If we didn't want to do that, we could easily do three mats, but I'm going to shrink it down to. Um, to do just two mats. So I'm going to connect these here and then I'm going to pull this to the edge and just drag this a little bit right inside of the two boxes. Okay. So now I'm going to delete one of these and the next step is the slice. So we're going to, you can only actually slice two things at a time but we only need to do that anyway. So we're going to hit slice. Then you're going to be left with a few pieces. 
and here are the pieces that you're left with. So I deleted the other pieces, and now we're left with um, the welcome being split in half perfectly. So then I'm going to turn this back on, and you can see that it's our same exact mat, and we're, when we uh, cut the two mats out later, we're going to just reassemble them, and you can see that in the post. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to leave that gray, I'm going to leave that black, and then I'm going to turn this one uh, light gray. And really what that does is it signals the Cricut machine that we want to cut all three of these on a different mat, and it won't give us like a space saving option. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off, because we don't need to cut that giant square, not that we could anyway. I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to hit make it. Okay, so we've got our welcome. And I'm going to put, I'm going to cut and make sure the top of the C is hitting five inches. Then over here, I'm going to do the same thing the top of that C hitting five inches. Then here for the lopies, I'm just going to pull this over here just a little bit. And if you need help learning how to um, add a plural, how to pluralize your last name, I've got that in the post as well. Um, so I'm just going to move this down a little bit right here. And then we're ready to cut. Um, you can hit continue, select your Cricut device. My maker is up and on and ready to get busy. We'll see it uh, turn on here. And then I'm just using some scrap 12 by 12 cardstock. You can use um, the cardstock really is, is the perfect heaviness for this project. Um, you can use any, you know, color or scrap piece of cardstock that you have laying around, maybe a color that you just don't use very often. Um, I'm not sure why it's taking my maker so long to load up, but there it goes. I'm going to select the medium cardstock. I've got my fine point blade in, and I am ready to cut. So, um, I'm going to cancel real quick and go back, and let's see, I feel like there was one more note I had to tell you about this little project. Um, I'm super excited to see the different ways uh, that you guys personalize your doormats. You can have funny sayings on them, or, uh, or silly, and uh, you can put the shepherds and put the year that the couple got married, um, and here's here's the rest of reassembling that stencil. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed the deeper dive into the Cricut tools and kind of how I use Design Space, and hopefully, using the slice and weld and knowing how to use those will help you in the future on designing your projects. So looking forward to see your, seeing your doormats. Make sure to tag us at Something Turquoise on Instagram. And until then, happy crafting.